Last year, we didn't really do the best with spelling. I really didn't have a good curriculum that I really felt like was super helpful. So this year I'm trying a spelling workout. I'm Kira, thanks for tuning into my channel today. We're gonna take a look inside spelling workout, which is something that we're gonna be using for seventh grade. I wanted to kind of look inside with you because I was kind of surprised at the quality of this curriculum. Before I talk more about this, I want to just say thanks for tuning in. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, click that like button. Make sure you share my channel with other homeschool moms who are looking for curriculum reviews. I'm always looking to share some helpful things that we're using because I never know when other homeschool moms are trying to look for the same thing. So right now I'm sharing a lot of seventh grade curriculum and homeschool resources. Just so you know, that's kind of where I'm at right now, but I am interested in trying to show you other things on this channel. So we're a few weeks into school and we are recovering from sickness in our home. It's It's been a lot trying to get our feet on the ground for seventh grade. I'm glad to have homeschoolers of all walks of life, all age groups and grades because it's so awesome to see everyone come together and go through this journey of homeschooling together. We're gonna look inside spelling workout today. I bought this because I didn't know in our language if we'd really be doing much spelling. And this was something that I felt was pretty well done. This is something I feel like is pretty thorough, repetitive, but not too boring. Spelling is not something that maybe most kids find extra exciting anyways. This book I will say I was kind of impressed with and I didn't want to spend tons and tons of money. My son is a fairly good speller but I feel like you know we all could probably brush up on our spelling skills even myself. But I'm going to do a more in-depth review so you can kind of see more what the pages look like inside. So I got the student workbook and the teacher's manual. We're going to just glance inside this one really quick. There are 36 lessons. I was really impressed with the teacher's key because it actually has a lot in here. Um, it has the breakdown of the lessons right here. I will tell you that the paper is more of, I don't know if it's that cheapy recycled like newspapery type feel to it. So the pages are very thin. If you're using a marker or a pen of any kind, it's probably going to go right through it, to be honest with you. So definitely, in case your child makes a lot of mistakes, I would definitely use a pencil on this book. The first few pages are really just like a sample of lessons. It does give you a lot of help as the teacher, um, the classroom management, planning, testing, individualizing instructions. So we're gonna take a look inside these and see what you think. Here in the spelling workout, it has your table of contents here. So as you can see, it breaks down all the different vowels, then breaks down words starting with A, prefixes, words ending in I-O-N or A-T-I-O-N, Latin roots, suffixes, more Latin roots, words from geography, science, math, history, business, words with I-E or E-I, suffixes, Y is a vowel, words from music, words that come from Spanish, Latin roots, words from sports, Latin and Greek prefixes, words, compound words and hyphenates, challenging words, and then your last lesson review here is lessons 31 through 35. So as you can see that there's a review every, about every five lessons, there's a review there. We're gonna look inside. See here it talks about vowel A can be, vowel A can spell many different sounds, alien, vacate, fabric, allegiance, and then it gives you vocabulary development. So write each list word that matches the synonym for these. Here it has dictionary skills, spelling practice right here, word application in its sentences. Here's the list words again, and it's allowing you to figure out which one they are in the crossword puzzle. Then in the back, it has you correct for proofreading, any spelling mistakes, capital letters, apostrophes, or adding periods. It wants you to do that here. Writing a description. So it wants you to write a bonus word here that matches the clue given. So it goes on to E, I, O, U. And as you can see, 
see some of these are a little bit different. They might change based off of the lesson. So they vary a little bit. They're not all exactly the same. This is the lesson one through five review. And this is the review of each lesson and list words. So words beginning in AP and AS. AC, AF, AT. Words ending in ION, A, T, I, O, N. Words with, that are French derivatives. Latin roots. And again, another lesson, seven through 11 review. Suffixes A, L, A, L, L, Y, I, C, I, C, A, L, L, Y, and L, Y. So this is an unscramble right here. So I like how they change it up. It's not all exactly the same every single time but it doesn't feel like too overwhelming. I think that they do a really good job with giving all these different ways of using these words, but not making it too boring. Again, I have not used this before. This comes from Modern Curriculum Press. I have not used any lower level spelling workout books before. Um, so if they're out there, maybe they would have it a little bit simpler for younger grades. Words from history, words from business, Words from music, Spanish derivatives, and more review there. Latin roots, words from sports, words with Latin and Greek prefixes, words with hyphenates and compound words, challenging words. This is your final lesson review right here. So here are all your words in the back listed like they would be in the dictionary using your dictionary. So it's helping guide you how to use them correctly. So it looks like these are all the words that were used. So this is a really good reference. And then there's a spelling notebook in the back. And then this is the teacher's edition. So I wanted to give you a glance into this. So this is your table of contents broken down again. Okay, so this is the breakdown of your lesson one. So it's all the different pages and your answer keys are like right here, but then it gives all this stuff on the side that can kind of help you teach them if they need any additional help. So I really like this. I think it's a pretty easy layout to see and understand. So what it looks like here is they do give a test. So what you can do is maybe do this out loud for the child to recap the lessons that have already been completed. Or you can read the sentence out loud using the spelling word. Either you can do it on the board or, or have them just write it down on paper. It's really up to you. If, if you really want them to just write it the word out on the board when you read the sentence or do you want to read the whole sentence and have them do it on a sheet of paper. You know, it's just really up to you, I guess, to see how they're coming along. And it looks like they do give the final test, a pre-test and a final test option in every lesson. So if you want to kind of see how they know the words going into the lesson, do they know any of them already? Or what do they need to know? And that way, as you work through the lesson, you can do that final test to see how their progress is. So I'm not gonna go through all this, but you get the setup and format basically for the teacher's book. I think it's done really well. I'm super impressed with this. You know, it's not like as expensive as maybe some other curriculums maybe. It's definitely a little bit cheaper made, but I think it's still done really well. So they do have a review test for lesson six that's covering lessons one through five. So this is a test that you can do. So these are all the tests, review tests right here. And then the answer keys here are in the back. There's only six review tests here. And these are all the list words if you needed to look them up specifically where are they located in the book. And that's pretty much it. I'm really impressed.
Well, I hope that really helped you kind of figure out if this is a good curriculum for you. I was impressed with it, even though it may seem a little bit older looking and maybe a little cheaper quality of paper. I feel like for what it is, they're pretty thorough with the amount of words that they use. I will link this curriculum down below. You can kind of look and see what the other options are for other grades. I will tell you that I didn't really look at what other options were for the younger or older. I just knew that this one was gonna be the best one when I was glancing through the sample pages. We're using G for seventh grade, so that can maybe give you kind of an idea of where your child may be placed. My child is a good reader, so if your child struggles in that area, you may wanna bring them down a level or two and work up to this level if they need it. Okay, thanks for being here today. I will see you on the next video. Until then, shine bright.